Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kitten Kitty here, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm coming at you with the easiest and fastest way to unlock Dark Aether. And no, it's not a glitch, all right? No, it is not a glitch. We are doing this completely legit. There is a way to get golden tack rifles in two to three games. It depends on if you want to play it safe or if you're really good at zombies and you can make it further into the rounds. Basically, this is only going to work if your guns are leveled up. So, kind of targeting the people who already went for Dark Matter Ultra in multiplayer because obviously your guns are already going to be leveled up. And now you're looking for something new to grind, so you're coming over for, you know, Dark Aether. Or even people who just play Warzone, they picked up Black Ops Cold War to play some zombies because multiplayer on Cold War kind of sucks. Uh, I, I agree, but this way you can do it in two to three games. So the main issue, the main three camos that you're going to have trouble with, that's going to take you the longest is the 25 kills with the gun, 25, uh, sorry, did I say 25? I meant 2,500 kills with the gun, 2,500 headshots with the gun and 25 headshot, uh, sorry, 25 kills while it's pack a punched. That's what's going to take you the longest. Now, in this method, I am going to show you how to do that in two to three games. Basically, if you look at my gun right now, I already played one game of this. And let's look at the camos. So we're more than halfway done with uh, the 2,500 regular kills. More than halfway done, just a little more than halfway done with the critical kills. And almost halfway done with the pack of punch kills. Now everything else is just about completed. I completed all the other camos in just one game. So that's why it takes two games. If you're really good at zombies, honestly, you could get it done in one game. You really could. So we're going to do my final game. Hopefully it'll last long enough. Basically, uh, attachments, you just want the most... The most... Uh, salvage drop rate that you can have so whatever that is yeah it's in the body so that's what i have leveled up to because i only have it at 47 oh that's another thing so in this game i will hit level 50 and this is just 20 consecutive kills without getting hit that'll just come naturally in this game so we don't have to worry about that i am using my frost blast tier 5 i highly recommend it i did try it out with uh with ring of fire but honestly i kind of dig the frost blast a little bit more and then all we're gonna do is just go into a solo game we are gonna do it on firebase z because i came to the realization that i hate megatons and i'm sure you guys do as well so it could be a little bit faster if you do it on die machine the only thing is is that you're going to have a little bit of trouble getting the elite kills but i'm sure you would wind up actually just getting just enough with the elite kills so yeah just load up into firebase z that way you don't have to worry about elite kills again i already completed my elite kills i just don't like megatons so we are in our game right now and fun fact you can actually make it through the teleporter in between round one and round two as long as you get your headshots and that's going to be a common theme you want to specifically go for headshots i am on pc so it is a tiny bit easier for me but also you have to keep in mind this is zombies and if you are on controller super easy to get headshots with deadshot daiquiri just aim span that's it so i just got the loose change over there so i can buy this door and i can just go through there it's really up to chance i think it might be faster if you just stay in spawn but i just like the open area when you go through the teleporter like i said you're gonna want to focus specifically on your headshots because if you have your gun pack a punch and you get headshots you are going towards three different camos anytime that you get a headshot kill also it just saves ammo and it does more damage it just it makes sense 
All right, so we have about 3,000 points. I'm just going to get the spare change from here. And we're going to open up to the first door. This is what I kind of like to do once I get like 3,000 points. Because then I have enough to open up both doors and activate the reactor. And then by the time that the reactor is done, I have enough points to open up the next one. So There we go. The last reactor has been hit. And if you notice, just by doing that, we already have 500 salvage. So we're going to go ahead and tear up the weapon. Basically, the strat is just all about making sure your weapon does the max amount of damage that you can. So we're just going to sit over here. This is the fastest spawns for Firebase Z. So we're just going to sit in weapon labs. This strat's really nice because you only have two places that the zombies can come from in really just one direction some people like to just sit here aim for headshots down there and then just you know flick for the zombie over there i personally just like to go over here because it creates a little bit more distance for both ways that the zombies go and you can just hold your freaking crosshair just right over here and then you'll get headshots from the people that are walking through other than that you can just go like that with the zombies coming out of the windows. And we're really just going to sit here until we get about like, I don't know, 9,500 points, uh, 10,000 points around there. Because that's when we're going to pack a punch. But we're not just going to pack a punch. We're also going to get an ammo mod for it. So I'll meet you guys once I get the points that I need. So we have enough points here on round nine. I actually had enough points on round eight, but I was trying to save a zombie and I accidentally <laughs> hit a nuke. But um, since we have enough points, we're just going to go through the teleporter and we're going to pack a bunch and we're going to get our first perk and the ammo mod. Just going to run over to pack a punch, pack a punch quick, and then we're going to grab the cryo freeze and then we're going to grab dead shot. And we're just going to run back to the teleporter. The reason why we chose cryo freeze is because it won't kill any of the zombies without you shooting them and using your gun. I tried it out with brain rot, but brain rot, I was, I was getting a lot of kills that weren't headshots and the headshots is what's really important. So if you look over here, headshot ratio is pretty good. And with the cryo freeze, it's just going to be even better because it's just going to slow the zombies and we get an insta kill. The reason why we chose Deadshot Daiquiri is so that we do more damage to the head. And the later rounds, that, that Deadshot da Daiquiri is really going to pay off because we get that bonus damage to the head. But basically, we're just going to sit here until we get one of the assault waves. This is literally the strat i have a thousand salvage i'm gonna want to tear up my gun once i got some free time and you're just basically gonna sit here just keep doing that make sure that you tear up your weapons as much as you can and it's just really about getting those headshots making sure that your gun does as much damage as possible whenever possible I like to pick up stun grenades because I personally feel like they're pretty OP. If you get overrun, just throw it out the ground and you just wail at them. So right now we have enough to pack a punch one more time. And I just saved the zombie because it's just easier that way. And we are going to wind up doing the bunny Easter egg. You don't have to do it. I like to do it just for a free jug. That's why we bought dead shot first. But we're just going to go through the teleporter. We're going to buy level two. And we are going to buy whatever other perks that we want. I like to get speed cola and maybe quick revive. That way it's cheaper. And then we're just going to kill this zombie. And then stare at the bunny. You will have exactly enough time in between rounds to get into this easter egg now the good thing about this is that you will actually be able to get some of the elite kills but since you're playing on firebase z you don't really have to worry about that but there will be mimics that spawn you can kill them if you want to but you don't have to so once we go into here we're just going to shoot those teddy bears those glowing teddy bears that float around we're gonna look around for the second one which is right there 
luckily with attack rifles is super easy see this is what i'm talking about with the mimics bam super easy just gonna look around for the other teddy bear it's right over there just gonna shoot that teddy bear Now, all the zombies should despawn. We got the loot crate that just spawned right over here. And that is going to give us some more salvage. A decent gun. And Juggernog. Now, you don't have to pick up the gun. I prefer not to just because in case if I need to get out fast, I can run with my fist because it's the easiest way. And you're just going to wait until you spawn back. Now that we have an assault wave, usually I like to pack a punch in between the time that you have. Obviously, you have 30 seconds, but since we already pack a punch the round before, we're just going to run over here. The assault waves are going to be super easy. I'm not even going to use the kill streak. I am going to pick it up, though, just in case if I get into a pinch, especially the cruise missiles. They're really good. But we're just going to, you know wait for the zombies to spawn and we're not even going to use the kill streak we're just going to kill the zombies because we get more zombies that way so we're just going to run by to the teleporter and we're going to get the remaining of our perks and pack a punch once more you really don't have to worry about the timer by the time that you get there the zombies will just start to get to the place that you get the kill streak but tier three pack a punch and we're just going to pick up stamina up and maybe tombstone just in case we go down. Just because we have the extra points. So if we take a look at my headshots, my ratio is still really good. That's like, what, 30, 40 zombies that I missed? Some of them might have been mimics or manglers. That's fine. But another assault wave. Again, super easy. You don't even have to use any of the kill streaks doesn't matter sometimes i'll pick up that kill streak and then just use it but if you're really grinding out those kills you really don't want to use those kill streaks you want to do this all by hand so if we just go over here a lot of the zombies on this one will start going inside to attack you that's fine they're just lining up for you then and again even though that we don't have the brain rot you're still doing a lot of damage to these Mimics and these Manglers. There's a Mimic. Slows them down since we have Tier 5. Super easy. Get rid of them really quick. I mean, granted, it is round 20. We're just going to pop this real quick. Super nice. I really feel like this is going to be the new meta with the frost blast and the cryo freeze because once the zombies are frozen they're an insta kill it's super easy that way but we're just gonna finish this out and i would say about like round 23 ish we're going to switch up the spot that we're going to camp at also since we already have our gun tiered up to purple feel free to buy level 2 armor I mean, you're really not going to need it that much, but it's a nice thing to have, you know? There we go. See, even just be a little bit held up. That's fine. Just pop that cryo freeze, that frost blast and the cryo freeze will help you so much. It slows down the zombies so much so that you can get these kills in these headshots. Got a mangler. That's no issue done dead and then slow down the zombies as well Frag the flesh eater. so round 24 we just finished off round 23 and we are going to switch spots now it's starting to get a little bit too fast for my liking at least with the type 63 so we're just gonna run over and we're actually gonna chill at the colonel's office I really like this place because it makes it even easier. All the zombies come in a straight line. The reason why we haven't gone here earlier is just because the rounds are a bit slower. But now that we're starting to get fast rounds, I'm just going to switch it up and I'm going to go here. Just makes it a little bit easier because you can just hold this angle just like this. You'll constantly get headshots. All the zombies from the windows will come and hit you. Well, not hit you, but they'll be in headshot range. 
We're getting a little flustered here, but it's fine. Like I said, you just hold this angle and it's all good. You just go through those motions. Now, I already did get the 2,500 kills with the guns, so we really just need the headshots and the pack-a-punch kills right now. So, that'll be coming up real quick. You're basically just going to do this the entire time. The only issue that I find with this spot is that sometimes you just have a zombie that takes way too long to get to you. It's usually the last zombie, but that's fine. Just wait it out in there, and it'll come to you. So, we just completed round 26, and... I actually have 1,000 high-grade salvage, so we're just going to do the last tier up for our gun, making that be the most damage that this gun can possibly do. Right between the ice. There we have it, guys. We just got gold camo on this, I believe, right? Isn't that what it said? Yeah. Yeah. We just got diamond camo for this gun. Let's go in all tack rifles. I got a little distracted there, so. Let's go, dude. And again, that was just my second game of zombies using this gun. It all just matters as long as you have your gun leveled up. So the first game that I played was actually until uh, round 35-ish, somewhere around there. So that's how I was able to do it in two games. If you want to do it in three, if you're trying to play it on the safe side, I mean, I always recommend just going until you get downed. Try and make it your absolute best until at least round 30. But go until you get down, because what's the worst that happens? You get down, you start over, and then in your second game, you might get the gold camo, you know? It's totally possible to do it in one game. But I just feel like a lot of people's skill levels just aren't there to make it in one game. But yeah, that's the track, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to... Hit that sub button and turn on notifications for everything, including my Twitter at KiddenKiddy. Or you can just click the link in the description. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.